Hello everyone, I am Xiao Yuzhao, a PhD student at Duke University. I am going to talk about our work, FL Trust, Byzantine Robust Federal Tier Learning via Trust Bootstrapping. This is a joint work with Ming Hongfang, Jia Liu, and my advisor, Neil Gong. As we may know, the so-called centralized learning is the widely used conventional machine learning paradigm. Suppose we are given some clients, which would be smartphone devices, IoT devices, or self-driving cars. Each client has some data. In centralized learning, the clients send their raw data to a server, which is managed by a service provider such as Google, Facebook, or Apple. The server uses the client's data to train a machine learning model, and the model is used to provide services for the clients. However, such centralized learning faces multiple challenges. For example, the cloud server may be untrusted. The server may be vulnerable to data breaches. For instance, it was reported that over the past 10 years, there have been 300 data breaches involving the theft of 100,000 or more records. Moreover, the cloud server may also be vulnerable to insider threats where the service provider's employees leak the client's sensitive data. This data breaches and insider threats put clients' data security and privacy at high risk. Another challenge of centralized learning is that it incurs high communication costs. This is because the clients need to send all their raw data to the server, which may be intolerable when the clients are resource-constrained devices such as smartphone or IoT devices. Federative learning is an emerging machine learning paradigm to address the challenges of centralized learning. Specifically, in federative learning, clients' raw data stay locally on themselves. Each client trains a model locally and sends its model or model updates instead of the raw data to the server. Federative learning has been deployed by internet giants. For example, Google uses federated learning for the next word prediction in its keyboard app called Gboard. Apple uses federated learning to personalize Siri. Let's first talk about some background about federated learning. In federated learning, there are some clients. Each client has some data. There is also a cloud server. The server maintains a model called global model. Each client maintains a model locally called local models. Then, in each iteration, federated learning performs the following three steps. In step one, the server sends the current global model to clients. In step two, clients update their local models based on the current global model and their local data. The clients then compute the difference between the local model and the global model, called local model update. Then they send their local model updates to the server. In step three, the server aggregates the client's local model updates to obtain a global model update and uses it to update the global model. Note that federative learning is essentially a distributed system. Therefore, due to its distributed nature, it is vulnerable to poisoning attacks. Specifically, an attacker can have access to some malicious clients, which could be fake clients injected by the attacker or genuine clients compromised by the attacker. A malicious client can poison its local data which is known as data poisoning attack. A malicious client can also directly poison its local model update sent to the server, which we call local model poisoning attack. Essentially, the global model is poisoned, and the poisoned global model makes incorrect predictions as the attacker desires. To defend against poisoning attacks, the machine learning community has developed multiple Byzantine robust federated learning methods. These methods use Byzantine robust aggregation rules instead of the conventional average aggregation rule. Roughly speaking, the key idea 
of this visiting robust aggregation rule is to remove outlier local model updates before aggregating them to update the global model. Under some assumptions, such as that the client's local data are IID, the loss function is smooth, and so on, this method can even bound the change of the global model parameters caused by the malicious clients. However, the existing methods are insecure. Several works have shown that existing visiting robust methods are still vulnerable to strong attacks, like the local model poisoning attacks and backdoor attacks. The root cause of the insecurity of federated learning is that there is no root of trust. In particular, from the server's perspective, every client could be malicious. Based on this observation, we propose to build secure federated learning via bootstrapping trust on the server. Specifically, the server collects a small clean training dataset to bootstrap trust which we call the root dataset. The server maintains a local model based on its training dataset, just like how a client maintains a local model. We call the server's local model server model. In each iteration, the server assigns trust scores to clients based on the similarities between the client's local model updates and the server model update and the server aggregates the client's local model updates to obtain a global model update based on the trust scores. This global model update is used to update the global model. Recall that in each iteration, federated learning performs three steps. In our method, we design a new aggregation rule in step three and our new aggregation rule considers both the client's local model updates and the server model update to update the global model. Next, we use an example to illustrate our aggregation rule. In this example, we assume there are two clients whose local model updates are G1 and G2. The server model update is G0. This graph shows this model updates as vectors. Our intuition is that if a model update deviates too much from the server model update in the vector space, then the local model update is likely to be from a malicious client. For instance, G2 deviates significantly from the server model update G0, so G2 is likely to be from a malicious client. Therefore, we compute the cosine similarity between a client's local model update and the server model update. And we further use ReLU to clip the cosine similarity to obtain a trust score for the client. Basically, ReLU sets a trust score to be zero if the cosine similarity is negative, and keeps the cosine similarity as the trust score if it is non-negative. In our example, for client one, we first compute the cosine similarity between G1 and G0. Then we use ReLU to clip the cosine similarity to obtain the trust score. Since the cosine similarity is positive, the trust score is the cosine similarity. For client two, we first compute the cosine similarity between G2 and G0. Then we use ReLU to clip it to obtain the trust score. Since the cosine similarity is negative, the trust score becomes zero. The local model updates from the malicious clients often have large magnitudes in order to dominate the local model updates from the benign clients. Therefore, we also normalize the magnitudes of the local model updates to further limit the impact of the local model updates from the malicious clients. In particular, we normalize the local model updates such that they have the same magnitude as the server model update. G1 bar is the normalized local model update for client 1, while G2 bar is the one for client 2. Finally, our global model update G is the average of the normalized local model updates weighted by the client's trust scores. And we use this G to update the global model, where beta is known as the learning rate. 
theoretically we show that under some assumptions for an arbitrary number of malicious clients. The difference between the global model learned by FL Trust and the optimal global model under no attacks can be bounded. Empirically, we evaluated our method on multiple datasets. I will show results on MNIST as an example. Other results can be found in our paper. We assume there are 100 clients and 20 of them are malicious. The server's training dataset includes 100 training examples sampled from MNIST uniformly at random. This table shows the results. Each row represents an attack and each column corresponds to a federated learning method. In particular, Fed average is the state-of-the-art method in the non-adversarial settings. The numbers in the table are the testing error rates of the global models learned by different methods under different attacks. As we can see from this table, our FL Trust is robust against various poisoning attacks. In particular, the testing error rates of FL Trust under attacks are similar to the testing error rate of the Fed average under no attacks. When an attacker knows our FL Trust, the attacker can adapt its attack to FL Trust. We notice that the local model poisoning attacks can be formulated as an optimization problem and is applicable to any aggregation rule. Therefore, an attacker can construct an adaptive attack to our FL Trust via replacing the aggregation rule A as the aggregation rule of our FL Trust in this optimization problem. This figure shows that our FL Trust is also robust against such adaptive attacks. The X axis is the fraction of malicious clients. The Y axis is the testing error rate. This curve corresponds to Fed average under no attack. And this curve corresponds to FL Trust under the adaptive attack. As we can see from this figure, our FL Trust under attacks and Fed average under no attack achieve similar testing error rates when up to 90% of the clients are malicious. This figure shows the impact of the size of the root dataset of our method. We observe that a root dataset with only 100 training examples is sufficient for FL Trust to defend against the poisoning attacks. The testing error rates of FL Trust under attacks are similar to that of the Fed average without attacks. When the size of the root dataset increases beyond 100, the testing error rates of FL Trust slightly decrease. To summarize, in this work, we propose a new Byzantine robust federated learning method that is robust against poisoning attacks. And we show that the server can enhance the security of federated learning while collecting a small clean training dataset to bootstrap trust. Thank you for your attention.